What is up guys, Rick? Kak is here. Thank you so much for stopping by. And today, we are going to be going over the five best grenade launchers in Destiny 2 to be using in the new Beyond Light expansion. And so, let's get started. But just before we do, starting literally right now, a brand new sale at Advanced GG is going on. If you use code KHD30, you're gonna get 30% off your purchase. Guys, Advanced GG is the best gaming supplement out there. The only one clinically proven. I use it all the time. Every time I'm feeling tired, I can't recommend it enough. Definitely go and check it out. All right, now, Let's talk about those GLs. And what exactly do I mean when I say that these are the best grenade launchers to be using in an expansion that's not here yet? Well, quite simply, all five of these weapons are surviving sunsetting when Beyond Light launches. So their infusion caps are past Beyond Light, meaning that you can feel safe master working and infusing these weapons, you'll be able to use them in end game activities such as the new raid with Beyond Light. So let's get it started with number five on our list and that is the Martyr's Retribution Legendary Energy Grenade Launcher. Now this weapon is actually from Season of Dawn, however, you can still farm for it right now via Umbral Engrams. In fact, all five of the weapons on this list you can still currently farm for, which is great. But this weapon is incredibly unique. It's one of one in the game for its archetype, the wave frame archetype. So unlike other grenade launchers, this weapon, when its projectile hits the ground, it actually fans out in a flame damaging enemies that it hits, somewhat similar to the thermite grenade for the Titan Solar subclasses. Now, interestingly, this makes it, on the one hand, harder to use because obviously having a circular or spherical radius for an explosion means that just anything inside, anything nearby is damaged with a traditional grenade launcher. But with this, if there's enemies like spread out width-wise, it can be hard to hit all of them. But at the same time, it's also a lot easier to use than other grenade launchers because it actually explodes every time it hits the ground. If you're using another special grenade launcher, you often have to either direct impact the enemy or hold down the trigger and release it when you want it to explode. If you shoot an enemy that's too close range, it'll just bounce off the ground. That's part of the reason the mountain top is so good. It explodes as soon as it hits a surface and the Martyr's Retribution somewhat does as well. So once you get used to it, it's actually really, really easy to be hitting enemies. Now, all of that, its uniqueness, combined with the fact that it actually has some pretty cracked perks. In the first perk slot, it can get auto-loading holster, which is fantastic for these special grenade launchers, allowing you to shoot, switch weapons, damage enemies, kill enemies, switch back, it's already reloaded. In the second perk slot, it can actually get demolitionist as well, not only generating your grenade, but also making it so that you instantly reload when you throw a grenade. So you can shoot, throw a grenade, and shoot right again, and that can do wonders for your damage output. And it can also get lead from gold, allowing you to pick up heavy ammo and still gain ammo for this weapon. And that works perfectly if you're using two grenade launchers. This in the energy slot and another one in the heavy slot. That just means you're always going to have grenade launcher ammo. However, it's time to move on to number four. And there we have the Swarm of the Raven Legendary Power Grenade Launcher from Iron Banner. However, this is a dead heat with the Outrageous Fortune from the Vanguard Loot Pool. Those two weapons have the same archetype and pretty much the same perk pools. So keep that in mind, they're pretty interchangeable. But with the Swarm of the Raven, we have firstly our Rapid Fire Frame Grenade Launcher, Although those had to be nerfed at one point, they were an aggressive frame grenade launcher, they're still putting out quite a bit of DPS and these weapons have really, really good perk pools when it comes to just 
damage output. That's where these weapons are going to be great. Yes, they can clear adds pretty darn well, but mainly it's the fact that they can put out a ton of damage on a boss or a powerful enemy. Now, firstly, they can spawn with the extremely important Spike Grenades perk. This makes it do more damage for a direct impact. Again, just more outright damage. Then, they can both also spawn with Field Prep. This is going to increase your ammo reserves, so more ammo in a damage phase. But the Swarm can also spawn with Auto Loading Holster, and so can the Fortune. And this is a fantastic perk. It means that you can shoot off all your rounds, again, switch to a different weapon, a sniper rifle, continue damaging the boss, switch back, it's going to be reloaded. And because Destiny has so many limited time damage windows when it comes to boss fights and raids and so on, Auto-loading holster is actually really valuable. Now in that second perk slot, you've got some good perks like Rampage, also Genesis is fine, Ambitious Assassin, even Quickdraw if you wanna go like the PVP route, but mainly these are gonna be just great weapons for PVE boss damage. But it is time to move on from there to the number three slot, and here, we have the Interference 6, Legendary Power Grenade Launcher. Now this is acquired from the random world loot pool, so you're gonna get one just randomly from Legendary Engrams you pick up, or potentially from the Gunsmith as well. And this is actually in a different archetype. This is the Adaptive Frame archetype, which got a lot better when the now Rapid Fires were nerfed but there's no way around it. This does less DPS than the ones we just looked at. Unless you get some cracked perks on this, then it actually does more, but the perks are indeed quite cracked. Firstly, it can get spike grenades again, which is really what you're going for when you're looking for a PVE all-star grenade launcher. Then it can also get auto-loading holster, equally fantastic. It can also get field prep, equally fantastic. But then it can get something their other two couldn't, and that is clown cartridge. So when you reload, it randomly overfills this weapon from reserves. So it has normally a five-round magazine, but with clown cartridge, you're going to reload and get seven, sometimes eight rounds, and that is incredible for your DPS. That means that when you mod this weapon, you can put on something like a boss spec instead of backup mag and still have seven rounds, which you have to put on backup mag, you know, with the swarm to get. And then in the second perk slot, ugh, oh, it's all fantastic. It can get Demolitionist, and we get those same benefits we talked about with the Martyr's Retribution, but this time you get to shoot off potentially seven rounds, throw a grenade, and get those back. That's insane. You also have Swashbuckler. So you just melee kill an enemy, and now you're going to do 30% more damage against, you know, the boss you're fighting. And it can get full court, which increases your damage the further away you are from a target. And this is just like a raw damage increase, somewhat like spike grenades. So, oh my goodness, this weapon can get just the gambit of incredible perks. And if you're farming for this, getting something like spike grenades plus, you know, either auto-loading, field prep, or clown cartridges combined with demolitionist, swashbuckler, or full court... All of those would be fantastic rolls and combinations. However, the utter god roll is spike grenades combined with clown cartridge and full court when it comes to boss DPS. And because of these amazing perks, increasing the magazine size, offering just more damage, you will get substantially more DPS with the interference than you will with other traditional rapid fire frame grenade launchers which is pretty insane considering this weapon shoots slower and therefore does more damage per shot, which means that it's better at, you know, just normal yellow bar enemies or groups of red bars. It's better at ad clearing than rapid fires and also potentially better at boss DPS. Yeah, this is definitely one of the most desirable grenade launchers out there. But it is time to move on to the number two slot, and that goes to another special grenade launcher, the Truth Teller Legendary Energy Grenade Launcher. Reintroduced just this season, it's, 
yet again acquired from just random world drops, and oh my goodness, this thing has some incredible roles. Frankly, if you use the mountaintop all the time, this is actually the best candidate to replace it. It's not as good as the mountaintop for sure, but it comes surprisingly close. Now, firstly, this weapon actually has some PvP chops. The other weapons we looked at, you can totally use in the Crucible, but because they're heavy weapons, eh, it doesn't matter as much. You kind of just want auto-loading combined with, I don't know, Demolitionist, other decent perks. You want to increase the blast radius as much as possible often. But with the Truth Teller, you can get some interesting PvP-focused rolls. So, yes, it does come with the ever-important spike grenades for increased damage with a direct impact. That's probably what you want for PvE, but it also comes with proximity grenades, making it a lot easier to hit targets in PvP, and also high-velocity rounds, which you may want for PvP as well. Now, in that first perk slot, it can get auto-loading holster, which is great, for PvE and PvP. Like the ability to shoot off a quick round, especially with uh, proximity grenades, get that damage, switch to a weapon to finish that damaged opponent off really quickly, and then switch back and it's reloaded. That's fantastic. But it can also get field prep and feeding frenzy in that first slot. And then in the second slot for PvE, you're really looking at demolitionist or Disruption Break is actually not bad, where if you break the enemy's shield, then they're more vulnerable to kinetic damage. But this weapon can actually also get multi-kill clip. A grenade launcher that can get multi-kill clip. So that means if you get a quick triple kill on some thralls, you're then doing 50% more damage for the next shot. And combined with Feeding Frenzy in the first slot, yeah. That's a wombo combo. You can also get Swashbuckler as well to increase the damage and for PvP, Quick Draw as well. So for a PvE roll, something like Spike Grenades combined with Auto Loading and then Demolitionist would be fantastic or the Feeding Frenzy Multi-Kill Clip Wombo Combo. And then for PvP, something like Proximity Grenades combined with Auto Loading and Quick Draw is really what you want to go for. And similar to the Martyr's Retribution, you get some pretty big advantages to using the Truth Teller because it also lets you use a heavy grenade launcher and then your grenade launcher scavengers and grenade launcher finders are doing double duty for both weapons. But moving on from there, we have the number one slot and that goes to the Behringer's Memory Legendary Power Grenade Launcher. Now this is farmable from specifically Assassin's Focus Umbral Engrams. This also belongs to the Rapid Fire Frame archetype similar to the Swarm and the Outrageous Fortune. And like we talked about there, it will out DPS the other archetypes. Unless those other archetypes like the Interference have cracked perks. But this weapon belongs to that good archetype and has cracked perks similar to the Interference. So it can get spike grenades yet again, and in that first slot, it's actually capable of getting either field prep, always good, or clown cartridge. This is the first and only so far rapid fire frame that can get clown cartridge. Again, allowing you to extend your magazine to seven or eight rounds, but also be able to use a boss spec mod, which matters quite a bit for damage. In that second perk slot, you've got Demolitionist, which would be fantastic, but you've also got Auto-Loading Holster. So the combination of Clown Cartridge plus Auto-Loading, Auto-Loading won't actually work with Clown Cartridge, but it still lets you shoot, you know, seven or eight rounds off the bat, then switch off and then switch back and get another five rounds instantly from Auto-Loading. Yeah, it's pretty fantastic. Demolitionist as well, for being able to go seven rounds in a row and then just chuck a grenade and do another five right after that, like instantly, your DPS is going to absolutely skyrocket. Like this is a very, very good weapon, but the roles you're going for are a little bit more narrow. In that first perk slot, you really, really want field prep or I would say mainly clown cartridge. And then in that second perk slot, you're looking for demolitionist or auto loading holster. And it's gonna be combinations of those four perks. But like, you know, field prep plus auto loading, 
remember the swarm of the raven could get one or the other this can get both and that's kind of the reason it's at the top of the charts is that combinations of those perks and its archetype put it just a little bit above the rest i would say it's pretty neck and neck with the interference for just the best boss dps for any grenade launcher, any legendary grenade launcher within Destiny 2. And that is a big deal. These are very highly sought after, highly used weapons. And so guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, found this informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.